Over the last seven days, Bitcoin has been dropping, but you know what's been dropping even faster? Ethereum. We're gonna jump into the technicals on Ethereum and what could be happening next. So as I said before, a lot of the charts are seeming to follow Bitcoin, but some of them are outpacing Bitcoin, some of them are outperforming Bitcoin. Ethereum happens to be one of the coins that actually is dipping even faster than Bitcoin, and I want to jump onto the chart and show you a little bit of what's happening. Similar to Bitcoin, we're seeing an increased amount of volume come in, which is confirmation that there are a lot of trades coming. Could be, in the more recent day candle, we're seeing it green. It could be that we're about to see a reversal, but let's look a little bit deeper into some of the other indicators. For example, let me pull up my Bollinger Bands and T sequential. Now we're on the daily chart right here and we only have a red seven or sometimes we call this a green seven. So T sequential in and of itself is not enough to say there's a reversal, but we are massively overextended on the Bollinger Bands. And if I go out to the weekly chart, there actually could be some hope, although we have a long week ahead of us, that we could be seeing a reversal soon. And that is because we do in fact have that nine flash here on the weekly chart, as well as that overextension on the Bollinger Bands. If I pull up the RSI, we also are seeing ridiculously low numbers on the weekly chart. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and correlate this to uh, any bullish RSI divergence. I do believe we've been playing this out for a while. However, this low metric on RSI in and of itself, even without a divergence, is reason to believe that potentially Ethereum is getting at least close to its bottom. Now, there might be some reason to believe that Ethereum has even farther to go. And I want to start with Lux Algo, a phenomenal tool. If you don't have it, you're going to want to get it. Make sure you get in the link in the description down below. But you're going to see right here on the daily chart, unlike Bitcoin, if I were to go over to our Bitcoin chart, we have now gone down into our take profit on this sell order. On Ethereum, we are not so lucky. We actually have a ways to go. We could drop as low as it says $750 on the daily chart alone it, before we actually see strong support there. I'm not saying it's definitely going that low, but it's not giving us the same type of good feeling about a reversal that maybe Bitcoin is. If I go out to the weekly chart, it's almost the exact same thing, a little bit higher, but we have a take profit at roughly $900. Again, not saying that Luxago alone is the what we're going to confirm and say we absolutely have to go that low, but it's definitely not a sign to make you feel better. Another reason to believe that Ethereum might be in trouble is if you jump over to the Ethereum over Bitcoin chart. Now, I remember back here in March, I let you guys know while everything was dipping, Bitcoin was dipping, Cardano was dipping, Solana was dipping, Ethereum, it was dipping as well, but not as fast as the others. We were actually in this ascending trading channel. And I let you guys know that right now, Ethereum is the advantageous coin, but what goes up is going to come down. We're going to break bearish. And sure enough, here in May, we ended up breaking to the down downside of this trading channel and Ethereum is dropping. To put this in perspective, if I were to go to Cardano over Bitcoin, it is doing the exact opposite where it was falling to Bitcoin and forming a falling wedge, but now it's rallying up. Ethereum is not so lucky. It is dipping. So this is kind of a situation where if you are a trader, I don't think Ethereum necessarily is the right coin to be trading right now. Wrapping this whole video up, it was short and sweet. I just wanted to give you an update what was happening on Ethereum. But right now, as we wait in anticipation for that ETH 2.0 to come out and for that official merge to happen, maybe when we get there, we're going to see some bullish action. But as it stands right now, Ethereum is losing not only on Bitcoin, but on the rest of the altcoin space. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for more TA updates like this. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also comment down below so we can continue to give you the best videos possible. Peace.